If you're interested in spectral analysis, I suggest you download Spear. As I mentioned, it's free uh, open source software. You can uh, analyze any audio file that's not MP3, so WAV and AIF files. Um, and more importantly, you can actually manipulate the timbres of the recordings in very interesting ways. So this is a clarinet sound. You can speed it up and slow it down. You can change the pitch right here. Change the volume, it's a little loud. Reduce the noisiness. But even more interesting, you can select certain partials and delete them. In real time. Uh, so playing around with the software, taking any recording you like, playing around with it, will give you a really, really good understanding of the effect of the overtones, uh, the, the effect that overtones have on timbre. We can also take, for example, remember that in the clarinet, the uh, uh, even partials generally tend to be quieter. So if we were to transform them, select a couple partials by shifting and clicking them, um, we can change the amplitude, so make them a little bit louder. Let's make them, I don't know, 15 decibels louder. I just undid it. Uh, so you can hear that just by bringing these partials up a little bit, it no longer sounds like a, like a clarinet. If we delete them completely, it sounds a little bit more hollow. We can also select partials and stretch them or move them a little bit. If we take this. This moves them, uh, and this will stretch them. So there's all sorts of uh, cool stuff that you can do with this. You can also create a new file, use this little pencil tool, and draw your own. The faster you move the pencil, the louder, or the higher the amplitude, the louder the partial. play around with that a little bit. Um, I would encourage you to download it, play with it, um, just experiment, drop any sound you can, you want into it, and see what happens. Um, most of the sounds we've been looking at are sort of sustained notes, but of course, more complex sounds like speech, for example, uh, um, look very different when you analyze them in a spectral analysis. You don't have a lot of the clean lines that you do with uh, with the instruments. Uh, but the same premise holds true. The uh, Any sound can be broken down into constituent parts, into its uh, partials, to its overtones, and then it can be resynthesized. So I wanted to demonstrate uh, one last thing, the sort of cutting edge of, of this kind of software. Um, I frequently use this software called Open Music. Uh, this is something that Tristan Murai used a lot. He continues to use a lot. He's kind of an expert on this. Um, and it's a computer-assisted composition software that does a lot of this spectral analysis and will um, transcribe timbres into standard notation very effectively. So we are able to take that sound with a little bit of coding. You can then translate that into notation. It's a little quiet, but this is just being played back with a MIDI sort of player in the computer. Um, so you can hear how powerful this idea of resynthesis is. Um, all we're hearing here uh, in this little playback is the pitches of the overtones. So this is the all the overtones of like the ah at the beginning of that recording. Right here, that one sound is actually represented by this little chord. 
Um, and you can see that perceptually when you hear them together, uh, they're actually quite similar. Uh, so a lot of composers nowadays, uh, post-spectral composers, um, continue to be influenced by these sorts of things. Um, and I would encourage you as a good starting point to just begin playing around with Spear if this is something you're interested in. Uh, and of course, you're welcome to email me uh, if you have any questions or if you want to dig a little bit deeper uh, into any of this.